In this video we are going to obtain 1,3 and dandioni. 1,3 and dandioni is precursor of ninhydrin, a widely used reagent for determining proteins and amino acids. Indandionis are used as a dye to detect fingerprints when irradiated with 520 nanometer wavelength light. It is also used as a rodenticide due to its anticoagulant effects. These substances are used to poison animals and cause them to bleed to death. 1,3 indandioni is obtained by decarboxylation of ethyl 1,3 dioxo 2 indane carboxylate, which is obtained by clysin condensation with ethyl acetate and diethyl phthalate. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. To obtain 1,3 indane dioni, we will first obtain 1-DIOXO2 indane carboxylate through a clysin condensation reaction reacting metallic sodium with diethyl tolate and ethyl acetate. In a 500 ml 3-necked flask equipped with a thermometer, reflux condenser, and addition funnel, we added 53 ml of diethyl phthalate. To safeguard the system from humidity, place a calcium chloride tube at the condenser outlet. Weigh 12.5 grams of sodium metal chips into a beaker filled with hexane. Add the sodium to the flask containing the diethyl phthalate. Pour 80 ml of ethyl acetate and 3 ml of 99% ethanol into the addition funnel. With stirring, we slowly add the contents of the funnel and start heating. A calcium chloride tube was also used to protect the addition funnel. The acetate must be added for 90 minutes and the temperature should be between 80 and 90 degrees. The heating has ceased because the reaction's heat is already providing 80 degrees. During the addition of the acetate, no reflux is observed which indicates that the acetate is reacting. After adding all the acetate, heat it at reflux for three hours. The product becomes yellow in color and very thick after three hours of refluxing. To remove any unreacted sodium, mix and add 40 milliliters of ethyl acetate and six milliliters of 99% ethanol. Allow to cool after six hours of refluxing. Collect the yellow solid by suction into a Buchner funnel using filter paper. Wash the flask twice with 20 ml of ether and combine it with the solid from the filter. Wash the yellow solid three times with 40 ml of ethyl acetate and let it dry for a few minutes using suction. After the first part of the operation, we must decarboxylate 1,3-DIOXO2 indane carboxylate in an acidic medium to obtain 1,3 indane dione. 800 ml of hot water is used to dilute the yellow solid. Boil for 10 minutes to remove volatile substances such as ethyl acetate, ether, and alcohol. While boiling the solution, we prepare diluted sulfuric acid by mixing 38 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid with 12 milliliters of cold water. After cooling the yellow solution to 15 degrees, slowly add the diluted sulfuric acid we prepared before. A yellow solid precipitates when the acid is added. Let it cool in the refrigerator after adding all the acid. Recover the solid by suction and wash with a little water. Without drying the obtained solid, transfer it to a 500 ml flask and add 100 ml of toluene. We set up a Dean Stark and removed all the water by distilling the toluene. Once the water has been removed, let it cool and then add 175 ml of hexane mixed with 75 ml of toluene. Bring to a boil with reflux and pour it, still hot, into a 500 ml beaker. We allowed it to cool in the refrigerator overnight to crystallize. Dark crystals shaped like needles have been obtained. By suction, it was collected and dried at 60 degrees in an oven. The liquid that leaked contains hexane and toluene that has been contaminated. This filtrate can be distilled to recover hexane and toluene, which have boiling points of 68.7 degrees and 110 degrees, respectively. With this distillation, we recover another harvest of crystals. We wash all the products obtained with cold hexane. 
Once the crystals are dry, we determine their melting point. Our test resulted in a temperature between 122 and 132 degrees. According to theory, 1, 3 indane dione has a melting point of 128 to 132 degrees. It is possible that we have some contaminants that lower the melting point. But the purity of this product is sufficient for my purpose in the following video, the synthesis of ninhydrin. The weight of the product obtained was 16.5 grams. The yield obtained from diethyl to latte was 42.3%.